Hey, Keith here from Big Tommy Vaping Crew. How are you doing? <coughs> Just got to do a little, uh, a little review of uh, the Mutant Clone 26650 mod that I won in a charity auction last week at the Let's Vape 1.2 uh, Vape Meet in West Bromwich. It was kind of donated by Martin Reynolds, who donated a lot of things to the charity auction. And I like my 2650 mods. Um, I've got three. I've got the you know, big nasty clone, I've got the Hell's Win, and I've got my Golden Box uh, box mod, which is 26650. I never really fancied the Mutant. It wasn't one of the... Mm, it's just a tube. But I won it. And I know that Martin purchased it from Red Hot Vaping uh, in Wensbury, in the High Street. And... I've seen the mutants for sale in other shops and other uh, sites, and the clones that I've seen have had two little air holes punctured in the end, which is a bit tacky, really. Didn't like that. What we'll go we'll do is we'll go through, have a look at it, take it apart. I've got no issues with venting at all on this. As you can see, there was no air holes at all in the tube. It's very close to the original uh, Fallout mod uh, mutant. We'll go through. Have a look at it and then I'll come back. Okay. okay. Right, hi guys, how are you doing? Keith back here. Now we have the boxing, the unboxing of the Mutant 26650. Lovely box. It's got the logo on the front. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. Just a box. Pop the off. And here we go. We have the Mutant 26650 mod. Absolutely. Let's look at the shine on that. The condensation of my finger. Very shiny button. Very shiny top. All the detail and the engraving. Too shiny, <laughs> far too shiny. The top, and take us apart. Dink. Take the top off. Now these, the switch and the top cap are very heavy, very heavy. I mean they're lumps, absolute lumps of brass. <clears throat> Now, this is the magnet that fits onto the end of the battery. I grab a battery. Think. Right. Fits the end of the battery like that. Okay, keep power here. Let's set it up. And then look for the positive. Look for the opposing side of the magnet. Pop that in. That was in there. There we go. Right, the switch itself. Now on some clones on the Mutant, there's holes drilled into the logo, which doesn't look very nice. Looks a bit cheap. There was no holes drilled on this one at all from Red Hot Vaping. It's a solid tube. No air holes at all on it. But I have found that the switch does vent as the original. Take the switch out. You see them. You have three little air slots in the switch. Okay, now I have blown through the switch and it does vent. It does vent. You see that. You see the three air holes there. And it vents through the switch and it vents fine. I've not had any issues with venting through the switch. Doesn't need a lot of pressure when you're blowing on the switch. Just give it a. That's coming through the switch. Okay, so no problems with venting through the switch. And it's nice to have it completely sealed. You know, a completely sealed unit. This is the top cap, obviously. 
Now, one of the reasons why the mutant hits so hard is that... This top pin is huge, absolutely huge. And it's got a very large uh, battery rattle adjuster as well. Very large. I mean, that 510, you know, connector, that's a good... That's a good lump of uh, brass. I would have preferred it in copper, like the Helmsman or the Big Nasty, but actually this mutant does hit harder than the Big Nasty and the Helmsman. That's, that's the switch. That's all the switches. You've got a little magnet in there. Okay. Your ring. Pop that in there. This ring attaches on here, and this ring can be adjusted to make the switch, the throw of the switch smaller, uh, shorter, or longer. But I keep on the shorter setting. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll clear the box away and I'll get a set of scales and we'll compare it to my other 26650 mods. Okay, so back in the tick. Okay, back again. Here we have my three twenty six six fifty mods. Now, as you can see, right here we have the helmsman, here we have the big nasty, and here we have the new mutant. Okay, now as you can see, there's quite a difference in sight, height, sight, height. Yeah. <laughs> um, the mutant being much longer than the other two. Okay, so what I'll do now is we'll get the scales and we'll weigh them and see how much these weighs cause. I mean, 26 650 mods are heavy. The best times. There we go. Right, first the helmsman. And that's 188 grams. Now the big nasty or the big down and dirty. That's 174, so that's lighter than the Helmsman. And then we have the Mutant. Lump. Which is 200 living grams. It's a lump. It is a lump of metal. Okay. <clears throat> but this is the Mutant. And... It's a very high-end quality clone. Mm. See my face in the reflection. Very highly polished. Very highly polished. Right. Okay. So we'll finish here and then go back to the room. Okay. Right. See you. So, back now. And I've got the Toby Arty. 26650 RDA on the Mutant. I do like the Mutant. Uh, switch. I find the switch is extremely stiff. Extremely stiff. It's a good, um, good push on that. But hitting wise and vapour wise, it far exceeds the Big Nasty or the Helmsman. Um, it blows those two 2650 mods out of the ball, you know, completely at the park. It's a much better mod. And once it's polished up, it looks stunning. Uh, and it vapes really well. I mean, even at 6 milligrams, that is catching the back of my throat. And I've only got a 0.5 ohm uh, coil in here, <coughs> but it really does catch. It really does catch. It's a good, good poof, with the power, uh, with the flavour and the the vape. Uh. Now that I've had the mutant for a week, almost a week. <coughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I've used it all week. I haven't touched the Big Nasty or the Helmsman. Um, battery's lasting a long time in it. 
it's, it looks great, you know, with that top cap on it, you know, and the brass accents, it's a really pretty looking mod. I've had no issues with venting at all. You can blow in the switch, you can blow in the switch, and it does, it vents out the switch, no problem. Um, so I've not tried one of other clones, I, I, I can't compare it to one of other clone uh, mutants. I have got an order though, I've got the copper mutant coming, because I like this so much, and I wanted a copper mod. Saw the copper mutant, I thought, ooh, I'll try that. Uh, I'm hoping the one I ordered uh, didn't have the holes in the M. So I'm hoping when it arrives, it won't. And what I'll do is when it does arrive, I'll compare the two side by side. So there isn't the stainless steel on the brass with the copper once it arrives. But yeah, I'm liking the Mutant. Uh, I think it works at about £35. Um, as I said, I know Martin got it from Red Hot uh, Vaping in Wensbury. Uh, fantastic shop, by the way. If you're ever in the Wensbury area in the Midlands, you know, lovely shop, family business, welcome everybody, cups of teas, coffees, you know, great selection of mods, juices, they do Celtic, they do tea juices. Um, it was Abe Horvath that took me there and I wish there was a shop like that in Wales, but sadly there's not. But yeah, the Mutant, it's good, it's alright, yeah. So, see you.